Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video, we'll cover the Atomic Shop. Today is Tuesday, so we have a reset in the Atomic Shop. Let's see what we got. Kept my first impression. Afterwards, we're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's navigate to the Atomic Shop and see what we got today. Ooh, Bunker Bundle. Okay. I want... Oh, okay. Wait, you can wire it as well? Hold on. Before we do... Ah, come on, man. Fallout first, let's quickly check. Nothing there. Alright, so Bunker Bundle. There we go. So shield yourself from horrors of capitalism <laughs> nuclear blast with a communist bunker bundle for your camp. Okay, now those cages are cool and a safe. So basically, well, a thousand atoms is a good price. I mean, I uh, haven't seen in a while that the bundles would cost like 1,000. It usually goes 1,200, 1,500, but it's good than that. Red Menace Stash and Communist Fence. I like the fence to be honest. It's a good bundle. Am I gonna get it or just wait until it comes with a discount? <laughs> hey, come on now. Seriously? With a jetpack? Wait, I, I don't remember the previous one, the green one. Did it have the jetpack? No, I don't think so. I would definitely remember this. Although exactly the same power armor, but with addition to the jetpack, that's pretty cool. Uh, but I'm not a power armor user, so I am not gonna get it. 1,400. Plain Charlie outfit. Hey, hey. <laughs> for 800. You know, with the upcoming Meat Week event. <laughs> If the guy's gonna buy this just for the low lows, I mean, <laughs> oh man. Well, with the great reduction of the amount of atoms we can make now, I am not gonna get it. Although it will be kind of fun to have it to make fun, you know. Uh, okay, so this is what's included in the bend. Oh wait, so 700. Ah, oh, okay. So with the bundle, you're pretty much saving, but you're not getting any exclusive things, or you can buy it individually, which makes no sense. Well, actually, there is. So, for example, if you just want the communist bunker, but you don't want the fence or anything like that, uh, then you go with one of these. But the fences are cool, the bunker is cool, so it's already worth buying the bundle, and the save goes as a bonus. So blue. Brahim Grill. <laughs> That's a cool one. 500 atoms. Grill Master. Oh, this is a returning. Oh, it's a bundle, right? This is bulky, by the way. I don't like it. The flags are cool. The grills are cool. The alpha is good to have. I think I have it on PC. I'm not sure if I made a full review on that one. Raider Skinner outfit. I didn't buy it. And it's a 50% discount. 50% discount is good. I'm not even gonna get it. How much time do I have? Seven days. We'll see. So, uh, this section I already reviewed. The greatest hits. The communist spy bundle. This buck. Future Wall Tech. This is exclusive. You can't buy it individually. It's actually pretty cool. You can interact with it. It spins and kind of makes a lot of different nuclear explosions. I do have it on my uh, PC, but not here. And why 30%? Come on, if it would be 50%, I'll take it off the bat, but no. Uh, repair Scrap. Ah, uh, Scrap Case Bundles. Okay. We, get a, we got a whole bunch of those during the. Uh, legendary run and I still didn't have enough time to get rid of them all plus they wait and the more you have them the more wait <laughs> no good uh, bulky cooler that's the one I've mentioned and it, it goes with the bundle 
which is right here. There it is. So, watch out. Don't buy it. You can get a better deal already with the bundle. <laughs> uh, but anyway, my opinion, mm, it's too bulky. Redshift backpack. Uh, these are floor. Okay. <laughs> Wallpaper. Redshift bit boy and reshift flags okay all right nuka cola bundle is, is back again what the hell junkyard bundle ah this is what's leaving the it's uh the, the vault so it will not be accessible anymore but at some point it will come back with uh discounts discounts okay no thank you backpack no thank you Ah, that already reviewed. More player icons. Woo! Woo! We getting there! Look at that! 80% discount! <laughs> I actually like this one. 10 atoms. Here, take it. I actually like that one. This. As if we have display cases to display the player icons. <laughs> What's the point of having all these player icons? So, you would look for your favorite one, like, for 5 minutes? Just imagine if you buy all of these player icons and you navigate all the way over here, right, to your, uh, where is it, skins, no, photo mode, no, icons. And you're going to start scrolling and trying to find, besides, you also unlock these by doing uh, nuclear winter ranks, also, um, I think we start getting them in the legendary run as well, so, man, we're going to have a whole bunch of those in just buy like the ones you really really like like I like that one I got it it's probably my second or my third ever bought player icon on super high discounts I never buy them on full price well, like 80% is good like 10 atoms 5 atoms okay whatever anything about that no thank you Ooh, a free player emote sweet Join my public team. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Communist Collectron is actually pretty good. He uh, he scavenges a lot of uh, like eight, uh, and I don't remember what else. Grenades, weapons, as you can see over there. Uh, plus, I did receive a lot of good feedback about this guy. Uh, to personal opinion: all these Collectrons are like, oh, they're all the same thing to me. I just, I just put like. Okay, you can give me eight. Just go give me eight. I'll, I keep forgetting to pick it up anyway. So, twenty <laughs> percent discount. Come on, man. This is old. If this would have been fifty, I'll grab it off the bat, no problem. But I ain't paying twenty. No, thank you. What are these? Uh, unfortunately, the uh, Bethesda once again delays with the patch notes, so I have no access to them, and I don't see. Uh, what's up with these? So, I don't know, know what's going on here. And usually there is some sort of a fall off first offer, which I don't see. Or maybe one of these is fall off first, maybe the collect Communist Collectron, I'm not sure. And uh, let's see if there's going to be any resets uh, during the week. If there will, then you expect to get a fallout notification video per day. <laughs> Apart from the weekends, it's bachelor party. I'm leaving. Uh, I'll make a notification of that a little bit later. Alright, so that's it with the Atomic Shop. Now let's go with the Legendary... Oh! Not Legendary. Challenges! So, daily. Uh, buy an item or sell an item from another player. Uh, very simple. Uh, collect purified water. Please. Uh, complete a daily uh, quest, okay, eat pre-war food, gold star, daily challenge, kill a mole miner, level up, nuclear winter, kill a creature, scrap junk to produce springs. Boom. These are like super easy, let's go take a look at the weeklies. Uh, claim five workshops, complete the gold uh, daily challenge, so you complete this one right here today, you'll automatically trigger that, which is a lot of score, pretty cool. 10 events, uh, destroy asserted robots, harvest the wild plant and fungi, uh, kill a creature 50 times, and level up 3 times and repeatable. Easy. 
<laughs> but in case if you're new, let me help you out and see how it's done. If you already know how to do these challenges, thanks for watching. Leave your comments in regards to the atomic shop or any comments, and I'll see you later. You have a good morning day and day. Now, if you're new and you need help, let me kind of run through all of this. So first of all, buy an item, sell an item, simple, go to any player's uh, camp who has a vending machine set up, buy a bullet three times, one bullet three times, like three transactions basically. Collect pu water, uh, purify water, uh, for that you can build yourself water purifiers at your camp and uh, pick them up in your uh, water section over here, uh, so these ones, right, and pick it up or you can do that at a workshop. Um, myself, I don't have these. <laughs> Alright, uh, what else do we have there? Oh, let's go like that, by this list. Uh, complete a daily challenge. Uh, super easy for lower players. I would recommend going over here. There are very easy challenges, like eat a hot dog six times, or throw a, a ball five times. Even if you miss, it doesn't matter. You still get it completed. So these are the dailies that you can do. So daily quests. Yeah, these are not events. These are the dailies that you got to do. Uh, eat pre-war food. Uh, you can buy pre-war food from vendors or find them or, uh, during your travel. So make sure to pick up all the pre-war food you see, like steaks and other stuff, candies, whatever. Eat them uh, and eat five of them and you're done. I would highly recommend doing the, uh, well, sweet. Monster Mash event. Monster Mash event, but this is not for low levels, have in mind. Monster Mash event gives a lot of Halloween candies, so if you're a high level, level I already think you know that event. And don't submit a can uh, the Halloween candy, keep it for yourself, they don't wait a lot, and it, they also work with this challenge, they work with candy, e eat candy and stuff like that, so it's good to have those. I have already, <laughs> I think over 5,000 because that was one of our favorite events with Z-Clan, we just go and PvP each other <laughs> over there, just for, for the fun of it. Alright, but have a mind, PvP is broken in those games. <laughs> As hell. Alright, level up, straightforward, just level up and done. Collect water purifier, I already explained. Uh, scrap. Uh, junk to produce springs. You can buy the junk from vendors and uh, get it done. Or the most easiest, if you already have springs, go to your tinker workbench over here. Uh, bulk it. So if you go over here and bulk this, so there we go. Once you've bulked it, what you gotta do now is scrap it. So you go over here. Scrap done. Super easy. So, just a heads on top, where you see a challenge scrap junk, and that junk can be bulkable, just bulk it and scrap it. You can't do it with screws, unfortunately. Uh, kill a mole miner. So, for lower levels, mole miner, I would recommend going to uh, Welch. This place, location right here, you should be good. Or uranium fever, as long as you see people there. If you see people there, are good because most probably they're high levels. It's a public event where a lot of mole miners, three guaranteed legendaries, and your job is to shoot, not to kill, just to shoot, 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 and they will finish them off. You get the results. Plus XP. <laughs> Alright, so buy and sell, I already explained. Kill a creature 50 times, straightforward. It gotta be a creature not a robot but essentially if you're gonna be playing for a long time you'll get it done uh, har harvest wild plant or fungi so over here you can go and uh, homestead and uh, harvest plants there's a lot of uh, plants over here a whole bunch of them definitely will do uh, complete an event 10 times straightforward level up three times straightforward claim workshops five times so these are right here these are the workshops if you're a newer level I mean, if you're a new player and you're not familiar with these, uh, these are the ones that I'm showing you right now on the screen. I would recommend you getting those because these are located in the low uh, level um, region, so you shouldn't be having be a problem to get them done. Uh, complete daily goal challenge. As I said, once you've done the daily goal challenge, that will trigger automatically. Destroy assorted robots. Okay. For the lower player, that might be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, let's see who we gotta kill. And I'll tell you. Best solution is what uh, 
White Springs. Uh, they're neutral, but you, you can kill them and they count. So that's the best solutions, but not for lower players. So you will definitely get killed. Ah, so you gotta do three out of all this list. Perfecto. So, Protectrons. Uh, then we got the Gatsy handy. And we got the Liberators. These are your three guys. So Liberators, you'll get those buddies at Vault 76 right here. Once you spawn in, they're like all over the, the place. So that's first target and second target, Voltec Agricultural Research Center. It triggers an event and you will have Protectrons over there and you will have uh, uh, the Gatsy Smatsy guys. Plus you can go over here, uh, there are some easy robots over there like two or three, the Lumber guys. If you still don't have enough uh, to kill, just server hop and come back to Voltec of Russia Research and you're done, pretty much. So, uh, that's pretty much it. So, if this video helped you out and found it beneficial, you know how to drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can react to them. So, if you want replies to your comments, make sure not to swear in my comments so if you got something negative to say you can always provide it just don't swear and everybody will see that comment and uh if you're new and you subscribe welcome to z clan i'm gamer z soul from ukraine so hi from ukraine i hope you enjoyed this video we do have an active discord channel uh with over 600 members right now so you might want to join the link is down in the video description if you don't know what that is it's uh, a tool where we can chat and share photos share whatever information uh, we play a lot of different games, so it's not just 76 over there, and you gotta apply the roles in order to get access to the correct chats, because if you see all those chats, you're gonna go, what the hell is this? So, um, it's very, very, if you just follow the instruction, instructions, you can get it done. If you still need help, there's a help chat, and there's a tutorial video on how to work with our Discord server. So if you s dedicate a little bit of your time and watch that thing, bam, 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 you'll get it done, and welcome to Z-Clan. <laughs> So yeah, I'm still on a break from this game. I don't even think I'm going to be playing this uh, new event, the Colossus thing, because, uh, I don't know, I just don't feel like it. I'm so addicted right now to the Diablo 3 and just super high level. Got my build working, always wanted to play that Necromancer, and I'm just having a blast. So I don't think I'll be playing 76, even with the new event. But I'm looking forward to hear your thoughts on that new event. And please don't tell me it's going to be bugged. I mean... When I was logging into the game today, the first login is boom, crash, and, and like blue screen, sort of. But it's just, mm. oh well. But anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one today and day. Whatever you guys lock in at, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are Z Clan, we have a gamer soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamers best. Z Clan! Z Clan! Our hearts and our soul, we will forever know. Our community stronghold, this is our song. Into the depths of the heart of the one sword. Yeah.